Hello, ciao, konnichiwa, and hello guys, it's Jalen. We are almost halfway done until summer, which is so exciting, yay! Dance party, dance party. And in order to celebrate our halfway point in the school year, I have decided to list off the different type of students you guys will see at your school. Student number one, the never prepared student. It doesn't matter what day of the week it is or if it's a big final, this kid never has anything. Hey, could, could I borrow like a pencil from you? Sure. I think cool, I have a cool thing. Here. You know what, I also, I need some paper as well. Yeah, that means things. You know, can I, can I just like borrow an entire notebook? Oh, for, just oh, for the day, I, I promise I'll give it sure. back. I'll give it back, don't worry. Yes. Student number two, the lender. Now this goes hand in hand with the never prepared student. This kid basically brings the entire school section of Target with him in his backpack. He has a never ending supply of pens, pencils, paper, multiple notebooks, 10 calculators. Hey, do you have an extra pencil? Mine is out of the Oh, a pencil? Of course I have a pencil. You can just take the whole bag of pencils. Oh, do you need oh, a calculator? No, I, I, I need a calculator. Oh, that, that's Here, um, I have a paper pen. calculator. Oh, no, no, no. Everybody needs a calculator. <laughs> Student number three, the overpacker. This is the kid who walks around with the backpack that is filled to the brim with every single buck he will need for the entire week, along with his lunchbox in one hand and in the other, his sports stuff. Student number four, the back sasser. This is possibly the most annoying kid at your school. Okay, so penguins normally eat, Janet, you talk one more time, you're going to the principal's office. Excuse me? Um, how about I just save the time and I'll just leave because your class is boring as hell and I just can't handle it. Oh, goodbye. Student number five, the cheater. This is the student who clearly cheats on every single test because he is too lazy to study. And somehow he manages to never get caught by the teacher. Student number six. The know-it-all. This is the student who's constantly raising their hand and at some point even tries to teach the class. We get it, you're a child genius. Good for you. Can somebody please tell me what regions are the pangolins native to? Pick me, pick me, I know it. Timmy. <gasps> the pangolin can be found in Sub-Saharan Africa and China. If you want to be very specific, there's eight different kinds of pangolins. The Chinese, the Indian, the Philippine, the giant brown. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize you got a teaching degree. How about, how about I sit in your desk and you can come up and teach the class? Yeah, no, no, oh, oh yeah, that's what I thought. Student number seven, the bragger. Now a lot of times, the know-it-all is also a bragger. This is the kid who loves to share how amazing he did in every single activity of his life since he was born. Guess what, guess what? A plus, A plus, plus. I have never gotten below an A plus. You know why? Because I'm perfect. I am P-E-R-F-E-C-T, perfect people. Student number eight, the crinkler. It doesn't matter if it's just a simple class or a study hall or the biggest final of your life. Constantly shuffling papers or crinkling chip bags or just plain searching through all of his stuff. <laughs> Student number nine, the teacher's pet. This student always reminds the teacher about homework that maybe they forgot to check and even asks if we can add extra problems to the assignments. Don't forget about our homework assignment. You don't want to forget about that. I, I think you really need to check Sarah's homework first because 
she didn't do it. And while I'm at it, we should add extra problems to the homework assignment. You know, we want to make sure that we learn it. Oh, also, I got this apple for you. See the apple? Put it right here, okay? Right here. Apple just for you. Student number 10, the distracted one. This person has never listened to one word that the teacher has spoken the entire year. They would rather stare at a speck of dust floating down from the ceiling than listen. <sighs> well, I want you guys to leave a comment down below about some of the weirdest things your fellow students have done. So go down below and type, 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 type. Also, I am on Twitter and Instagram, so you can go down and click on the little icons to go to my Twitter and Instagram page. Also, if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe so you can see more of me. Thank you guys, and bye!